Okay, so today, everything I've done, I've done with Flat Stanley. Um, you can see we've bent his arms and stuff, and I have some cute little pictures. Took him to town and um, took pictures of him at the lumber yard, the feed store, uh, the grocery store. And then he came home and he built fence. And this afternoon we're going to get pictures of him with all the animals that we need for the letter back home. Okay, RJ. So what are we doing for the umpteenth zillion time? Digging down this fence. <laughs> We have once again decided that this fence here and this little turnout stall is needed far less than the fencing is needed for another project, correct? Yep. So, in the long run, Murphy's going to get a bigger pin though, isn't he? Alright, so Murphy's tied over there and we'll bring you up to date. we got to take all this out and I'll show you what we're working on. Okay, so today I worked to... Um, put up this fence here and as you can see it's not done because we had a small little problem um, I actually had to pull up all three of these posts that I set and put concrete down in there when it rained the other day it rained so much that when we tried to tighten off the fence we pulled this uh, post out of the ground you can see it's really sturdy but now it's got concrete down in there. It was sturdy before, just um, it just all the rain made them super loose. So I have this up here. All I have to do is wait for the post to set. Um, it'll be 24 hours. So tomorrow in the afternoon, we will come out here and we'll start tying up our fence and we will get it done. Um, I bought one roll of wire for $130 and for that $130 I'm getting this pasture done and then the one over there that is Murphy and I'll tell you that about here I call that the Murphy saga so um, and I'm trying to keep the wind out of off the microphone so hey brownie um, but there's enough on this roll to finish this uh, do this little section right here and then we will um, have quite a bit left so we'll see how far that goes um, we'll keep it in case of emergency or whatever at this point we don't have a plan for it eventually we plan on cutting off that over there so it may go to part of that um, the other thing that I've been working on after I got back from town um, I took Flat Stanley with me to town he went to the feed store and that's when he did that stuff uh, but I went because I had to get concrete then I decided since I had enough wire here and I only need 10 more T-posts to do what we had talked about earlier, we figured out it was going to be beneficial to Murphy. So, this is the Murphy saga. Murphy was in that little thing. I did not want to build a shelter in that little run over there. So, I pulled it up yet again. We put it in, we take and say we're leaving it. And we said last time it was going to be permanent. We decided it's not permanent again. It's wonderful to use T-posts and woven wire. It, it just is real simple. You, it, I know people say it's not portable, but it is. So anyway, so Murphy is going to have his own pasture. And we're actually going to rotate him and the sheep. And hopefully at some point they're going to get used to each other. <laughs> the cattle are all playing in what I'm doing. <laughs> That's Gordy. It's stumbling. It's all right, Gordy. He's trying to figure it out. There goes Brownie. <laughs> oh, silly, silly cows. Anyway, so we've decided we're going to cut this off from this side of the barn. The sheep will have that big 40-foot shelter. You know, come across here. We've got these two gates, and it's going to go up here. And then we'll have this. So this will be the sheep and goat pasture. Sorry, I don't know if you can even hear that. The sheep and goat pasture. Gordy trying to run. He's so sweet. Um, then, on the other side of this, RJ had a brilliant idea. And I wish I'd have thought of it sooner, but we didn't. Because this literally is just costing me T-posts. The wire is extra that I had from over there. This piece right here is, is the piece that we had from Murphy's. I already had the gate. And today I went and bought concrete and three more posts. So we're talking like, I think they were 450 at the lumber yard. So 
we're talking like 15 bucks. So, um, it's going to divide this, and Murphy will have all of this, including the area down there by the sheep. So I think if he will have a big enough area, then he won't run as much. Our problem is, is when he gets out here, he just goes crazy, starts running, the sheep run from him, the goats run from him, then we have it on, and they're all running every which way. But Murphy, unfortunately, has to spend the next 24 hours in this dog pen. Um, it's not a bad thing. It just is smaller than what I would like him to ever be housed in, but it's temporary. So we're waiting on the posts to set up. So it'll be 24 hours before these posts get set up, and then we'll have all of this done, and he can have, I have everything to get it done, so tomorrow it'll be done, and he'll be turned out. This will be his shelter. We'll wire this door open. Lee and I are going to get in here, and we're going to take out the hog feeder. This was storage. Um, we really didn't use it for much, did we, Murph? Now, he's mad for being in there, but um, we'll take that barrel out because that's what we used with the pigs, um, that feeder we used with the pigs, and we don't use them with Miss Buttercup. It's when we had farm pigs. This is his feed pan, and they all just think there's something in it. I had this in there, but it has nails on it, so I made RJ take it out before. Those are, are safe for animals. But I'm going to get his water cleaned up. Thank you, Mr. Rooster. I'm going to get his water cleaned up and his feed pan, and his water will go there, his feed pan there, and then he'll be turned out onto this um, in the next 24 hours, and all the sheep will be on the other side. Hopefully with a long fence where he can talk to the sheep and goats, he will stop chasing because he'll have this area to run through um, and use up all of his energy. So it'll be a good thing, but this is what we've been working on. I've got to get off here and go. Um, I've got to clean his watering pan, and then I'm going to get it in here so that he gets some water. He's been in there about 30 minutes now with no water. Not that it's going to kill him. I just always want him to have water, but I'm going to take the opportunity since we have to dump it and move it to clean it. And see, he's not fussing with him right now, but if he was to get out of there, he sure would like to chase him. But I think he'll, he'll be happier when he's got a big space to run into. So I think it's a win-win. This will be his shelter to get out of the weather, and we can lock him in there at night, and then this will be his pasture. And then we can actually use the whole setup for rotational grazing. Um, the horses will be over there. And we've got one other place that we're going to petition off um, over time. But other than that, I think we're doing good. This tree will be cleaned up and gone. But, yep, it's getting there. It's October, and I've got about two more weeks before it really turns cold. Um, I'm hoping that it stays warmer like this, but we'll see. Um, the 1st of November, it'll be nice to have another breeding pen. But we really won't have another breeding pen because Murphy's going to be in it. But anyway, who knows? We might be able to put Murphy up here in this front pen and use two breeding pens side by side. Who knows? We're going to figure it out because we'll have a new pen. Okay, so this is Pat. She has a limp. She's been removed from the breeding pen because um, it may be from Knight trying to mount her. And he has a bad leg on that side. So um, just to let her heal up and let him not mount her um, while she's hurt. She has been removed from the breeding pen. I'm going over here to turn off the water. I just filled Murphy's water. 